Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're watching, hi, my name is Liz and I make videos every single week all about beauty and fashion and pretty much anything you guys would like to see. I feel like my intros are getting very, very old, so let me know if you guys have any ideas on other intros, other things I can say other than my name and the things that I do. So let me know down below if it's getting kind of annoying. You're kind of like, I know your name is Liz. I know you like to do videos. Like get on with it girl so comment down below and let me know your thoughts but today's video is going to be an extension of the video that i did before i think i named it like studying abroad or like traveling or something of that sort but um it's gonna be an extension of it so i want to give you guys some really cool places to go to so i know that tips whatever like be on a budget like do your research like that's cool and all but i think that a lot of the things people struggle with is knowing where to go like there's so many places you can go to, like restaurants, museums, like there's so many things within those categories you can attend. So it's kind of hard for people to know exactly where to go. And I know that a lot of my friends now who are studying abroad are like, hey Liz, like where did you go when you went to Paris? Like what restaurants did you go to? Like what museums did you go to? So I feel like it's a recurring factor. So I feel like my friends need that, but also other people. So this video is going to be all about places you can go to in Paris and I'm going to do it by city or country or whatever maybe the theme today's going to be all about Paris so I will let you guys know some great museums some great like nature walks or like gardens you can go to um and then also some really great places to eat and bars to drink so let's get on with the video so first let's start with like monuments and like points of interest that most people go to. I just kind of want to get those out of the way. I don't want to like, you know, anticipate all of them because we all know that when you're in Paris, you're going to go to the Eiffel Tower. It's amazing. You can go up it, which is really great. I recommend when you're going to the Eiffel Tower, one, you go in the daytime and then you go at night because it is very two different experiences and the feeling and kind of the vibes are different so in the morning or if you go in the afternoon time you can have a little picnic and you can actually kind of like be more like grounded i don't know if that's like the right word um but it's more calm and what i would suggest is going like around like depending on like when the sun is gonna set um i would definitely go in the daylight kind of have your picnic whatever walk around and then right and be there when the, it's about to set and when they're turning on the lights because it's such a beautiful experience and like I'm getting kind of emotional talking about it because I really really loved being there like it was an amazing experience and it was just a great feeling being in that area so I definitely suggest going to the Eiffel Tower that was my little spiel on it um another really great monument um as far as like churches and all that stuff that are like pretty places to go and like visit and look at um the Sakakur is beautiful um it is a flight you know to get there for sure so make sure that you are you know careful of the fact that you do have to walk like 300 steps and to um be a really aware of pickpockets in that area because there are a lot of them all over paris and europe in general but in that area i felt like very nervous like not in danger or like unsafe but just nervous so i definitely suggest like being aware of your surroundings when you're in there beautiful church amazing amazing like views when you're up there so definitely go there another really great place is the arc so the arc de triomphe i said the arc that's club um but the arc de triomphe is a great monument to go to you can also go up it just like the eiffel tower but I would suggest if you are a student and you have a student visa, show that in your passport because they do let you in for free. I don't know if that's just when I was there. I was there a year ago and I'm pretty sure they still do it. But they do let you in for free. Um, not the Eiffel Tower, I believe. I didn't try that. But the Arc de Triomphe, you can definitely get in there for free. So I would definitely suggest going there. And the last monument that I feel like is essential to go to is Notre Dame. And that's also a church very similar to Saka Kerr. But they have very different vibes for sure. Like very, very different vibes. So make sure um, that you kind of... I would go to both. I mean like they're pretty far from each other i think so i would definitely just go to both they're really cool um look at pictures um notre dame is beautiful and really great images and then that occur is like a good experience if that makes sense so try both see what you like if you're in paris like 
do as much as you can um, within your means. So definitely try those places. Now on to museums. And I know that a lot of different people will make go to European cities or Paris just in general. They like to go to museums because obviously they're beautiful if you really love art. Um, and these are really great places you can go to. So the first I would say is the Museum du Louvre. Um, you can see the Mona Lisa there, which is really cool. She's not too close to you. Um, she's actually around like ropes and pretty far. So you can't really like see her and like feel her soul and her energy, but you see her. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely go there. Also the Museum de Orsay is amazing. I will list on all these different names. I know that I'm kind of like going a mile a minute, but I want to make sure that I get to all the cool places. So I'll put all the different categories and the places there so you guys kind of have like a list of places you want to go to because I know that I'm going really fast so Museum de Orsay for sure go there because it is beautiful it's very different than the Louvre but it does have like amazing art as well and then the last museum that I really really loved and I don't feel like it's very popular but I'm also like not knowledgeable enough on museums to say that um, but I do think that it's like looked past it's called center pomp center george pompidou i have everything listed down below so um yeah center george pompidou it's it's very like avant-garde like modern museum like it's really really cool they have a lot of different exhibits and they're all more like um up to date and modern from what i remember so i definitely love going there um it's a, bit, a different vibe like i said than the louvre and then orsay so just make sure that you figure out like what your artistic vibe is you know what I mean oh I almost forgot so this is I don't know if it's considered a museum but I'm just gonna include it in here because it was a terrifying experience but the catacombs of Paris it's a good place to go to if you're not afraid of being in a cave pretty much multiple caves um so funny story <laughs> Funny story. So my friends were actually like, let's go to the catacombs. Like, it's really cool. It's a lot about like, um, the plague. And I think that's what it was. Something like that it was with the plague. Um, and what happened with the plague and I think all that stuff. So I was like, sure. Like, that'd be super cool. I learned about that in school. Like, I love to go to the museum. Museum, which is what I kept calling it. Um, no one tried to correct me and tell me that it wasn't necessarily a museum. So I was like, sure, it's a museum. I'm going to go. I'm going to like look super cute wear heels like take really cool pictures right we get there we're online and i'm like oh cool like we get in i'm like oh this is like you know like a little dark not kind of what i thought but it's a museum because in the beginning of it it's like a museum link and then i saw a cape and i was like oh, where are we going i was like where, where are we going my friend's like oh the catacombs like where the skulls are you know the skulls like from the catacombs from the plague and i was like i thought this was the museum this little this little chunk of this like 280 square feet little part is that 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 was a museum no 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 so you actually go through a cave essentially you're in a cave for about like 45 minutes maybe 30 minutes it felt like a dozen years but you're in a cave looking at skulls in very artistic ways so they're like designed in they're not just like thrown out there they're like designed in like very intricate shapes and stuff so it's like pretty interesting if you have the guts to do it don't wear heels it's a cave there are going to be um rodents in there just like letting you know um if you're not into that i would not suggest going i was not into that but i kind of was already in there and i already paid to get in so i just forced myself to do it but if you're into that catacombs of paris amazing okay now we're getting to the good part so now we're getting to the good part which is food because french food is pretty amazing i would say um depending on like what your rest eating restrictions are so i'm a vegetarian i do eat fish but i mean I, I found a way to deal with it um places that i loved while i was there so this is all like food related um a really good place that i liked and it's very expensive so i'm just going to warn you Oh, there's a sun. Sorry, the sun is setting, so, like, my lighting is, like, changing. I apologize, but you guys get the gist. I'm not doing any makeup tutorials. Um, but a place that I love going to, and it's very expensive, and I blame Kim Kardashian for this. Um, it's Hotel Cote, and it's actually near the Museum du Louvre. 
Um, they apparently have the best cheesecake in the world. Um, and Kim Kardashian actually flies from California, from America, to go get that cheesecake. So I would go there if you want like really amazing, expensive, bougie cheesecake. That place is really good. And they have decently good drinks. They're not decently priced, but they're good. Um, so that's a really good place to go to. There's another place called Cafe Sharon. Um, and it's very, it's, a, it's not like a place that people usually like say like, go to Cafe Sharon if you go to Paris. It's more like I lived like, a block away from there so that's where i would usually go get food amazing people work there decently priced a lot of combo meals um which are really good like lunch specials um so that's really really good good food try um the cosmopolitans they're amazing i love them from that specific place so definitely go there because they have really good food if you're looking for some really good brunch i definitely suggest going to this place i believe it's in le marais le mar le marais i'll spell it out for you guys down below but it's called le benedict i think it's called benedict um and it's a really really good really 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 good brunch place it is an amazing amazing brunch place such amazing food really really decently priced they have amazing mimosas um and bloody mary so if you're into that definitely check them out i'll let i'll leave like the information down below it's called le benedict yeah go there it's amazing there's this other place that i want to tell you guys about but i forgot the name but it was like the best meal i ever had i'm gonna like look for it because it was literally the best meal i ever had in my entire life i'm just gonna leave it down below for you guys um, when I find out what it's called, it's in the Champs-Élysées area, but I love it so much, guys. It was the best meal I ever, ever had, and I'm not saying that lightly. It was literally the best meal I ever had. Um, amazing dessert, amazing drinks, amazing food. It was amazing. They had this, like, garlic butter salmon with, like, garlic butter pasta, and I literally was just, like, dead. Like, dead. Like, loved it. Dead. Amazing. I was, I fell in love with it. It was so, so good. So, if you're in Paris, make sure that you visit all these different places. If you're there for a short amount of time, prioritize and figure out what you are interested in. But definitely make sure you visit those places because I absolutely love and stand behind all the different places that I mentioned. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I post a video. Um, and I will see you guys next